Dynasty is very much seen as the golden age of reproduction of furniture in China because Ming furniture was made for the elite, uh, was made for scholars and the material used to craft these pieces were very precious woods. The whole idea of this idyllic literary lifestyle where you really take your time to, to devote yourself to the arts and to practice calligraphy and to compose poems. And if you look at, at their settings, uh, main furniture is, is at the central focus. When you look at a piece of Ming furniture, the first thing that strikes you is its simplicity. It's design not divorced from function. These pieces were made with a purpose. Their clean lines really kind of celebrate the material use. They really wanted the wood to take center stage and they would use it in very clever ways, using the grain to sometimes give an idea of design, but it was all very natural. Crafton went through great lengths to find the right material and one of the criteria was mainly in tables, in these large painting tables or smaller tables, they use a single panel for the top and one of the traits they would look for is these ghost faces that they would be able to identify in these planks. The decorations usually don't really distract from the from the overall aspect of the quality of the material used. You do find little playful details, mostly dragons, and a lot of inspiration from the natural world. One of the hallmarks was how these pieces of furniture were constructed with this very simple but highly effective joinery where they looked for the pressure points and no nails were used and also the materials used. So the most sought after was this really precious wood called Huang Hua Li. It's a treasured wood not only because of its aesthetics but also because it's a wood that grows incredibly slowly so it would take a long time to find a Huang Hua Li tree big enough that you would actually be able to use uh, to make furniture. This period is characterized by a few very iconic shapes, such as the horseshoe like armchairs. You look at them and they are somewhat calming because the lines are very clean and continuous and uh, without any drastic juxtaposition of forms and shape. And you combine that with some very subtle details, uh, such as how the armrests are finished. When you look at it very carefully, you realize that nothing was left to chance. Every millimeter of the species was very carefully planned. You have to remember that these pieces were designed 400 years or more ago, and they really stood the test of time. These designs are still influencing people today. They are beautiful objects, but at the core of their production, they had to function, they had to serve a purpose. And I think it's a beautiful combination of beauty and function working together.